Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. It's time. We're going to be doing the April Fool's matchup right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Battle of the Mary Sue's. Mare Sue versus Avar Chris from the High Republic. Oh, boy. We're going to be taking this matchup so, so seriously. Like... Oh, uh, we gotta take it so, 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 so serious. You can't get more serious in this matchup. Um, a lot of people, I guess, don't believe that uh, Avar Chris is uh, much of a Mary Sue, but I'm here to prove you wrong because it's pretty bad, guys. I don't know if you've read The High Republic, but it's pretty high. <laughs> They have a lot of emphasis on the high in High Republic. High, 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 high. <laughs> so, and, and Avar is definitely showing. So, as you'll see in this video, she, she's actually some surprising competition for Mare Sue Skywalker, Palpatine, Kenobi. Blah, 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 blah. So, it's going to be a little different. We're going to just kind of examine them as a whole and then compare them and then have a narrative battle on who wins. So, yeah. <laughs> so, how's your days going? My uh, my day's going pretty solid. Um, I just woke up. Um, but so far, you know, it's, it's, it's going pretty good. Uh, all right. Let's just get on with the match. Alright, so we're looking at Ray, Mare Sue, and, uh, you know, we're gonna be doing physicality, lightsaber combat, her force powers, her tactics, and her weapons. So, you know, you know physically, you know, she's okay. I mean, I mean, she's, she's looking a little bland. Like, let's be real here. I mean,. Yeah, she, she's not the hottest chick in the house. Let's be real, guys. She's kind of bland. I mean, clearly with the costume, she's looking for a bad time with that weird, like, strap dress. But, you know, <laughs> no one's going to give it to her. Uh, maybe except uh, the whiny solo child. Not Not the cool solo children, but the other one in the corner. Yeah, that one. Adam Driver's character. Adam Driver's a pretty good actor. He he just got given a bad character. Yeah, the same with Daisy Ridley. They just got bad characters, but they're pretty solid actors. But yeah, physically, you know, she's looking for a bad time, but I ain't gonna give her one. So, when it comes to uh, her skills as a fighter, well, she kind of just swings that laser sword around she just kind of like swings it around a bunch and she screams and she shouts like a maniac and i have noticed that every time she just closes her eyes for two seconds then she instantly wins go back to all of her fights she closes her eyes and then she's powerful enough to beat her enemies so her weapon in a fight is to close her eyes. And that way she can win any battle. It's so logical. And so logistical. And it makes absolute perfect sense. It's so smart. Now when it comes to force abilities... Ray is, of course, being overpowered. It's pretty overpowered for a 17-year-old chick. Well, she's not much of a chick, but you get what I mean. She is most likely capable with physical augmentation, even though non-force users can see her moving at normal speeds, which, correct me if I'm wrong, they shouldn't be able to do that when you're using force-based physical augmentation. But who okay. <laughs> It's it's not like the rest of that film was just contrived, you know, with a fleet of Death Star Star Destroyers. <laughs> oh, I hate that movie. 
Um, anyway, not only that, but she could use telekinesis for force pushes. And what else could she use telekinesis for besides force pushes? I mean, she force pushed, like, fit. Oh, yeah, she could lift a bunch of rocks. I forgot. That's supposed to be so epic and dramatic scene in Last Jedi that fell flat so quickly with the rocks. So there's that. She can do Jedi mind tricks. Um, and... She can do the Miles Morales uh, touch to snakes, because I guess she's got a fetish for those or something. Uh, that That's kind of weird. I mean... She's also got something for Kylo, which is really weird. But what happens when the snake meets up with Kylo? That's going to be so weird. Am I right? Um, like, she can just outright, like, just start touching them. And it's like, whoa, 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 personal space. Whoa, I'm feeling a lot better. I, I don't know how anyone would feel better around a Mary Sue. But, you know, uh, she also demonstrated a little bit to the menace. Um... Against the guards. How she learned such a complex ability. I do not know. But she did apparently. And. She's also got. Um, her ultimate. Force power. Which is. Really 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 powerful. Plot armor. That's right. Ray can just call upon the force ability. Plot armor. With no training, no thinking, no beliefs, and she can just have plot armor, and she'll, you know, she'll just survive. Because that's how they do it! So, you know, tactically, does Ray actually think in these movies? I mean, I'm pretty sure the entirety of Star Wars 8 is just Luke and Kylo talking to her and just literally talking to a cardboard copy cut out and them just changing with her just kind of there. That's what it felt like in 8. So, she doesn't really think much. She just kind of does stuff with no thought. Which I mean, you know... That can only get you so far. But, um... um, um, um uh, that's a cool thing I can do with my voice. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to me. <laughs> okay. Okay, shut up. Um... So, in terms of her weapons, Rey is really good at something, and that is stealing from other people and then calling it hers. She stole Han Solo's ship, and now it's called hers on all the merchandising. She stole Anakin's lightsaber... And now all the merchandise calls it her. Even though she built her own lightsaber. It's an entirely different hilt and color. <laughs> to be honest, I'm pretty sure she probably stole that staff from someone else too. And that's just on the merchandise as well. <sighs> uh, she also stole the gun from Han. And now that belongs to her now. And, yeah, I mean, I am, I'm personally okay if you call Anakin's lightsaber Luke's lightsaber, because, you know, it, that was the first lightsaber in all the Star Wars, and it was used by Luke, but, like, Luke, Luke has his green one, so, yeah, <laughs> but, um, yeah, overall, you know, Ray's just not much to look at physically um her saber skills you know she's just kind of swinging about her force abilities she's got plot armor she's got the ability to close her eyes and then become super powerful plus plot armor backing her up 24 7 you know she's got it good and yeah we're gonna move on to our other mary sue all right 
So moving on to Avar Chris. Oh boy, where do we begin with this character? Uh, you know, physically, again, but Mary Sue's are never, like, good to look at. Like, Mary Sue's, they just aren't attractive. Like, they aren't hot. That's so weird. I mean, she, she does try and do uh, the little crown thing. I mean, who do you think you are, Scarlet Witch? <laughs> you may try. You're not going to get nowhere close to her. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to go further into that. But, um, yeah, of our Chris, you know, she's pretending to be as hot as Scarlet Witch. MCU version, the comics are weird. But, you know, she, she just is not there. She's just never going to get there, you know. She just... Plus, she's a drawing, and for all those who... I just cannot simp for non-real people. Like, animated characters or artwork. Like, pictures of people. I just can't, you know, simp for them. You know, I gotta, they're gonna be real people. So, yeah, Avar Chris is really low down on the simp tier list. Um, she's just... Bleh. Uh, in terms of her lightsaber skills, here's the thing. Avar Chris has actually never been in a lightsaber battle. Um, she's never actually been in a fight before. Because everybody she meets just instantly likes her. Because everyone just, you know, instantly likes her. She's never actually had to draw that really ugly looking green lightsaber hilt. So you that oh by the way that consistently switches between a standard hilt and a cross guard. There are so many pieces of artwork made by the illustrators of her having a single bladed lightsaber, and then the Light of the Jedi constantly says that she has a cross guard lightsaber. It's so weird. It's so so weird. So weird. Oh, oh um. so yeah, she has that. It's kind of weird. I'm not much of a fan of it, to be completely honest, you know. It doesn't even look that, like, good. Like, I mean, her friend with the real cross guard, I mean, uh... What was his name? He had, like, the Excalibur saber. Yeah, his looked kind of cool. His looked dope. But, like, yeah, hers just isn't as cool, you know. Maybe if it was, like, Satil Shan's lightsaber and it had, like, the artwork on it, it would be cool, but it's not, so. Okay, so we're gonna move into Force Powers. So, you know, Avara Chris, she's got the standard abilities all maxed out to the superhuman levels. Well, obviously to the superhuman levels. And she even appears to have a skill with uh, Battle Meditation or Battle Meld. I'm not sure which of the two, because they... they didn't they couldn't even describe it in the book they were just so bad at it so like i mean obviously you got to be a master of such a difficult ability of course of our chris is a jedi master and bastila shan who's an actually cool character she got to master battle meditation as a padawan so get on her level so yeah bastila is just so much cooler than of our chris it's like it's it's not even joking like there is absolutely no debate on that. Also, Avar Chris has her most powerful ability, where she can hold her lightsaber out and make music and listen to tunes. Yeah, she like, isn't that so cool? So basically, she just kind of like swings her lightsaber around and makes music. So she needs me. And she has to use her lightsaber to make music. Making me believe that she actually needs to listen to music. To, um. To, yeah, to actually become powerful. I mean, she sees the force as music. So she better have, um. Some. I don't know any good singers. Um, on her iPod, because, yeah, she's gonna have a hard, 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 hard fight if, you know, she can't listen to any funky tunes. 
So, in terms of tactics, Avar Chris's best bet is to sit down, pop on a CD, turn on Spotify, and just jam out to some tunes. And then she's just going to be OP, you know? There's just going to be no restraint. And, and that's just, you know, how it's going to go. So, there we go. It's as simple as that. And, um, in terms of her weaponry, I already talked about her weaponry. It sucks. They call it a standard hilt. It's actually a cross guard, but no, no, we're going to draw it like a standard hilt. But no, trust us, it, it's a cross guard. See, it's a cross guard in this picture, but it wasn't in any of the other ones. What's going on with that? What, 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 does she have two lightsabers? Does she have one? Why can't she be a Jark High Specialist? That would be cool. You could be like Chaos and the Ratch, except less cool. But uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm just like, so yeah, overall, of our Chris, again, Mary Sue's aren't much to look at. She's never been in a fight because she's a pacifist and everyone loves her. She jams out to music and that makes her powerful. And she has an inconsistent lightsaber. Let's fight this battle. Okay, okay. <laughs> So we got some competition here. We got some pretty powerful Mari Sus. One of them hasn't even been in a fight before. She's so powerful. And the other wins every one she's in. Um, yeah, um, the only thing these two don't have going for them is, uh, you know, being hot. Because neither of them are. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, they look pretty evenly matched, in my opinion. <gasps> um, <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna just do a narrative battle, you know. I'm okay, gonna describe what's going on. Like, picture the battle in your head, because this is gonna be an insane battle. So, here we go. Okay, okay, so these two just, you know, like, they show up. Uh, we're gonna just say it's on Humpty Dumpty's wall. You know what? We're just gonna... Yeah. It, it, Humpty Dumpty's wall, uh, you know, it fell over on the Great Wall of China, and uh, that that's where the fight's gonna take place, you know? Humpty Dumpty's seat on the wall of the Great Wall of China. That, that's, that's where the fight's gonna be. So, first of all, Ray comes down in Millennium Falcon. Avar just kind of shows up, because why not? Um, and... They, they start talking to each other, and they're instantly, like, liking each other, and they don't even know each other. Their abilities of being a Mary, Mary Sue's is keeping them linked. Finally, it is Ray who uh, breaks free, and she ignites her yellow lightsaber. I'm not giving her Anakin's lightsaber for this. She doesn't deserve it, so she has to use her own. And But Avar Chris has never been in the fight, so she coaxes Ray out of using her lightsaber. Instead, so Ray, you know, she kind of stands down. And then she pulls a gun and shoots Avar down before igniting her lightsaber and going to swing. Avar, she, she's incapable. There's no music. When all of a sudden, Chewbacca starts cranking out to Bruce Springsteen in the Millennium Falcon. Seeing as now there's music in the area, Avar has the power to pull up her single bladed, not single bladed, cross guard, not cross guard lightsaber. And block Ray's strike. And then move away. And then she's going to try and spout some words of Mary Sue wisdom. But, you know, Ray's just going to start screaming at her like a toddler who doesn't get candy at... Stop and Shop? Meyer? What's, like, the big grocery store in your area? We're just going to say the grocery store. And she just starts hacking at Avar, who simply kind of blocks the strikes and evades. So... You know, we got Avar's at kind of an advantage here, because she's got her Bruce Springsteen in the back, and who doesn't like Bruce Springsteen? So, Avar, she kind of ducks, rolls, and parries Ray's next attack. Ray goes for her blaster, but Avar's able to slash it in half. Ray's able to kick Avar back and overpower her for a second, and then lunge at her again with another strike. Avar blocks it, and then... 
Ray leaps over and pushes Avar back with the force. You know, she's just going insane. She's going wild. And then it dawns on Ray what she needs to win this battle. Because clearly she can't win without plot armor. So she closes her eyes for an extended amount of time. And she gets up and now plot armor is empowering her completely and 100%. And she begins hacking at Avar with no restraint. And then she lifts the Millennium Falcon with the Force and she pushes it out of range. Um, she, she might as well just, you know, lift the whole fucking planet as well. Because she's just, you know, that powerful with plot armor. And Avar, now she has no power. All her power is lost. And Ray cuts her down pretty, pretty handily. And with that extremely close battle, I still give Ray Palpatine Skywalker, blah, 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 uh, the title of Mare Sue. And we will call her Mare Sue from here on out, since she is the ultimate Mare Sue. Man, you guys actually stayed till the end of that? Wow, that's pretty good. Um, this is the real me, this is not being drunk, tired, even though I did record this five minutes after I got up, so my yawns were pretty legit. <laughs> um, yeah, I promised you guys I was doing an April Fool's matchup, and I hope I delivered properly, because, you know, the Mary Sues, they need, like, the absolute perfect treatment. This is not... Whether you guys want to call it an official versus series or not, that's up to you, because it's not really professional, unlike the rest... Don't worry, this is not how other Versus series are going to be. This is not the quality I'm going to put them at. The, the serious matchups will get the serious work, the editing and the recording and stuff. So, I'll get to that. Thank you guys for... I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.